What the fuck is the point in Prime? I might as well play fucking Valorant, okay? Hi, hello. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And guys, I'm annoyed, I'm stressed, I'm frustrated. And I think it's just time to hang, the, hang up the knives, hang up the boots for CSGO and just wait for CS2. These last couple days have been atrocious, disgusting. Disgusting! And I don't know where I'm going with this, but I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing this, but matchmaking has been terrible. Even on Face It recently, I've just been having people leaving my game. Fair enough, I was only level Face It 4, but I find it weird on how Face It places people for their first game or second game in Face It level 4, but when I signed up for Face It, I got placed Face It level 1, which doesn't make sense. So I grinded all the way up to level 4, and I'm having these silvers or gold novas that are willing to try out Face It for the first time coming into my game and they're just not taking it seriously they're leaving they're often sometimes just not as good as the enemies so i'm having to try and carry the whole team which ain't gonna happen because i'm not the best player in the world now if you do look on my matchmaking rank i did level i did d rank one rank um and i can explain why so if we start by looking at this mirage game we lost 16 to 5 okay fair enough i was at the top but if you look right here this guy 2 6 and 20 now you might be thinking ah oh, he left the game no 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 we played 21 rounds and he died 20 times right he played every single round and he got two kills now if you guys look two right and you might be thinking bro unlucky but no he was lem and he got two kills he must have been playing with a controller or something i don't know uh, bro but you know what it happens right we all get matched into a game which is unlucky you no know, you get a bad person on your team we move i was that bad person once look look at this game i got 14 kills i was at the bottom and maybe we lost the game because of me maybe perhaps it happens right but it was still a close game now if we go to this game mirage again match lasted 19 minutes i wonder why two people left this game i'm pretty sure yeah, I'm pretty sure two people left this game. So I'm just going to download this. I'm going to inspect it real quick. Hey, would you look at that? I downloaded very fast because it's only a 13 round game. Hog. So we're just going to analyze this game real quick. As you can see, someone on their team left uh, before the game started or something. I don't know. But um, let's just skip to the second round. All right, so we won the first round as to be expected. And I've got this new strat where I go mid with a Negev. Actually works out. You should give it a try. You should be able to pick up one at least. There you go, boys. You learnt it from me. Next time you do use this strat in the game, say Rain showed me this. Rain DXM, go subscribe to him on YouTube. Oh, it might not work two rounds in a row, but you're not gonna just throw out the Negev. You're gonna just try and get some more kills with it. Rack up some money. There you go. It didn't work two rounds in a row. Let's slow this down. 2v1, what can go wrong? Okay, he had an AWP, pulled out his Deagle, and trolled? I don't know. My mind's blown. Okay. It happens, we have bad rounds, all right? Moving on. Let's skip forward a couple rounds. All right, so we just press tab. The team's doing pretty well. It's doing pretty well. Um, This guy's one kill, but he's got 6K. You know, he can buy. He could have bought for someone else if he wanted to, but that's okay. And he left the game and abandoned. He died and abandoned. Eight rounds in, he had one kill and gave up. He just gave up. Bear in mind, everyone's at LEM at this point, right? All right, so now we're on the 4v5, right? Cool. 
It happens. So now we're in the tenth round. Still a four v five because that guy abandoned. Well, as you can see, it says unconnected. So you're about to see that another guy leaves the game. All right. He notices one ramp. He peeks. Nobody shows up for him. At this point, I'm on site. Oh, he just gets shot through the smoke, and he's gone. Just left the game and abandoned. So now it's a 3v5. And if you know anything about Counter-Strike, it's not even worth fighting. It's not even worth playing the game. I say, bro, what the fuck is this game? Don't know why I play matchmaking anymore. And prior to this, I've played a face it game and I had the same thing. Somebody just left the game. How the turns have tape. I guess that's an office reference. I wouldn't know because I'm not a fucking nerd. And then, uh, oh, sorry. This guy stabbed me uh and got himself banned from the game so yeah the game's basically done what do you do now you would expect this stuff at silver silver elite maybe gold nova but lem bro and i'm pretty sure two people on the other team were supreme so i don't know what the ranks were uh on our team but uh that basically concludes that game so if we come back i can't even download this game because it's only five rounds two people left on the enemy team they didn't even play a couple rounds so i think they played one round a couple oh it says well they have four death four death so they must have played a couple rounds but now you might be thinking all right you just got two unlucky games true trolls right so yeah it's, it's, it's just not the point i'm a prime player i've been playing this game for many years uh my steam account is clean no bans no no um timeouts no anything community bans game bans no vac bans nothing N you know uh high standing is what you'll say if you know um you know for good behavior if you don't leave games if you don't get kicked from games and you don't get reported your account is in high standing why am i getting queued with leavers and griefers as a prime player what the fuck is the point in prime I might as well play casual with silvers. I might as well play fucking Valorant. Okay, never gonna happen. But you get the point. Yeah, I just don't get it. What is the point in Prime? Why would anybody want to play Prime if this is experience? Now, of course, you say, do you just play face it? It's more professional, anti cheat, all of this, blah 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 blah. But this is this is this shouldn't be. An experience that you get from the base game honestly at this point i'm just done with csgo uh, i might play some face it games here and there or just con continue playing matchmaking just not care but then i feel bad if i don't put in 100 percent and my teammates are putting in 100 percent because i know a lot of people that take matchmaking quite seriously and they just want to hit high goal though just want to hit a high rank they just want to play the game competitively and have fun and if I'm not putting in that effort, then it just ruins the experience for everybody else. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys experienced this? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, peace.